Match 15 of the Big Bash, Sydney Sixers and the Melbourne Stars. Let's build our fantasy team on my 11 circle fantasy pick on ESPN Quick Info. I'm Ronald Kapoor and Tom Moody is all set to join me. Right, this should be a cracking contest. Let's start with our pro tip. And last season at this venue, which is Queensland, uh, in the Big Bash matches, the bowling average for spinners was 18.16, whereas the number goes up to 25.81 for pacers. So our pro tip says maybe have enough spin options in your 11. Tom, what do you make of that? Well, you can never have enough spin options in your 11, in my view. doesn't matter where you're playing in the world. Uh, I just like spin, but probably one of the reasons... Uh, it, it has been quite dominant up there is the extra bounce on the surface that you get up in Queensland. And also we've had uh, Mujeep has been a regular spinner for the Brisbane Heat bowling at that venue. So I know that spinners do enjoy bowling there and it's a, it's a big ground as well. So if you're hitting him for a boundary or a six, you've got to hit it well. All right, let's go to some player availability news, which tends to fluctuate depending on what's happening in Sydney. Now, Jake Ball has a slim chance of being available for the Sixers, but unlikely to get into the playing 11. Nick Maddinson will not be available for the Melbourne Stars due to COVID-related reasons. Adam Zampa will be back for them, though, after a short break. So, let's go to our team. Before that, a quick reminder on the My11 Circle Fantasy app. 100 credits for every user to pick their fantasy team from four categories of players. Batsmen, bowlers, wicketkeepers and all-rounders. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any given contest and we'll throw in four substitute options for you as well. Our captain choice is Glenn Maxwell, which is a pretty safe bet, you think, whenever the stars are in action. We know that he's managed scores of 46 of 26 and 39 of 29 this season already, instrumental in victories for the Melbourne Stars. He scored more runs against the Sydney Sixers than any other team. Those numbers pretty good, 435 runs in 13 games, strike rate of over 157. And no one's scored more runs at this venue than Maxwell himself. So, pretty safe bet if you ask us. Glenn Maxwell is captain. Adam Zampa back in the reckoning and he's our vice-captain choice. He's been Australia's premier leg spinner in white ball cricket and been in splendid form in this year's BBL as well. Two for 34 from eight overs so far. A man of the match award included in that. And he was the best spinner last season too, where he picked up heaps of wickets at a pretty good click. Uh, we've got Glenn Maxwell as captain and Adam Zampa as vice-captain. They give you double and 1.5 times the points respectively. So pick them very carefully. In our top picks, Josh Philippe is there. He's started this year's Big Bash particularly well. When these two sides met in the BBL final last season, he managed a 52 of 29, which helped the Sixers, of course, claim uh, the Big Bash crown over the Melbourne Stars. Man of the match performance in that final and started this season well with a 57 ball 95. That's a personal best for uh, Josh Philippe. Steve O'Keefe is there as well. Now, he is the most prolific spinner ever for the Sydney Sixers with 54 wickets in 58 innings, and he continues to have an impact as the veteran left-arm spinner. Marcus Stoinis too. You wouldn't want to keep Stoinis out whenever the Stars are in action. Over 700 runs last season, and uh, the highest individual score in Big Bash recorded in those runs. So, let's not rule out Marcus Stoinis. In our top picks, Glenn Maxwell is captain, Adam Zampa is vice-captain, Josh Philippe, Steve O'Keefe, and Marcus Stoinis to round up our top picks. Tom? Yeah, look, Maxwell's a no-brainer, isn't he? He's such a dynamic player, and he's always in the in the contest with bat ball and in the field so plenty of points to get from him zampa back into the big bash we've all seen how he's improved over recent years in white ball cricket again i think that's a good selection for him in the in that vice captain slot and, and the rest of them really speak for themselves you know they're, they're the forms there and also we touched or at the top of the show we touched on the fact that spin could have quite a big bearing so the left arm spin of o'keefe is a pretty smart inclusion yeah, it just takes from our pro tips. Steve O'Keefe, who initially started off putting on our substitutes bench, who slowly made his way into our team, then to our top picks. So, yeah, do back the uh, veteran left arm spinner. Let's go to some differential picks. Liam Hatcher features there, 24 year old seamer, who's impressed everyone with a three for 28 in his debut game against Sydney Thunder. And he followed that up with another impressive spell of two for 17 against the Scorchers. So, he it's likely to be amongst the wickets this time too. Don't rule him out. James Vince as well, after a couple of poor outings, we know that the English uh, opener is expected to score runs in this game. He started the season so well with that 67 of 41. Our differential picks, Liam Hatcher and James Vince. Our full team sees Nicholas Puran and Josh Felipe as some power-packed keeper options. 
James Vince is there. So too Marcus Stoinis. Glenn Maxwell is our captain choice. Jason Holder and Dan Christian. Steve O'Keefe, Nathan Coulton-Nile, Liam Hatcher and Adam Zampa is our vice captain choice. Looking at some substitute options, Hilton Cartwright, Andre Fletcher, uh, Benjamin Manenti and Ben Dorsius. We've got uh, an optional pick for you, which is an alternate pick, which is Ben Manenti could replace Liam Hatcher in the 11. Let's see if Tom likes that. Any more suggestions, Tom? Yeah, look, I, I would be considering Ben Dorsius, the other Ben mm. in that uh, substitutes to, to come into the playing 11 instead of Liam Hatcher. I just think that he's such an improved left arm quick bowler and uh, he tends to bowl during the times where wickets you know, are, are falling, whether it be the top of the innings or at the back end of the innings. So he's definitely one worth considering. Also, can bat uh, down the order. You might find him you know, called upon to get a quick 20 or 30. All right, fair enough. So, Ben Dwarshus, see if you can squeeze him into your team as per Tom Moody's observations. Thank you, Tom. Plenty more from you as the Big Batch continues to roll on. Do join us then on my 11 Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket Info.